Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be talking about the fragrances that I will be bringing with me to my two-month vacation or holiday back to my home country, the Philippines. So in my previous videos, when I talk about fragrances that I want to try back home or fragrances that I knew would really work well in, you know, tropical countries like my home country, the Philippines, I immediately thought of a lot of fragrances. And in my mind, I already had 20 plus fragrances that I really wanted to bring because I thought, okay, eight weeks, that's a long time. But when I thought about it, I would not feel safe bringing 20 bottles of perfume and i actually have a collection of fragrances that i will be buying back home and it is from a filipino perfumer i'll be focusing more on those fragrances if i still do get a chance to film when i'm there but when it comes to fragrances that i will use like on a daily on different occasions for the whole eight weeks when i think about it eight weeks is a long time but really when you really think about it eight weeks that's not enough time here i have nine full bottles and two perfume oils that i'll be bringing with me so i've been going back and forth in my choice but I think this one I can cover many different scenarios and occasions so the first one is Limper Trees number three I know I'm not saying that correctly this is from the house Dolce & Gabbana from the Orthology series so I knew right away that this is going to be a fragrance that I'll be bringing with me the first time I smelled this fragrance two years ago when I added it to my collection I knew right away that this is something that I would have to try back home something fresh and sweet and watery and tart I have to have this in my fragrance wardrobe back home. So number three, Limper Trees. I have the older um, bottle. I know they changed the whole design. And I have to have Twilly Dermes. So this is a very classy, put-together kind of scent. It's more tuberose forward it has ginger it has i think some pink pepper in it as well i'll be wearing this one for example for some smart casual kind of occasions i mean i could actually wear any of these fragrances for any occasion that's why i chose them because they're so versatile but for you know occasions like meeting up with some old friends or because i have to renew some licenses and all of that so i will be wearing this one it's a very put together clean pretty kind of scent so twilly they're also the reason why i chose these fragrances is that they're small they're compact and you know i can easily pack them and in case you know i need to top up and refresh during the middle of the day i can just put this in my bag another one is kayali this is eden juicy apple 01 just like with limper trees i knew i had to bring this with me because i want something sweet and fruity in a very young but also mature kind of way you know some, somewhere in the middle so it's a perfect scent for a 35 year old <laughs> well for me so this is eden juicy apple 01 another kayali that i'll be bringing with me is utopia vanilla cocoa utopia vanilla cocoa 21 so this is more of a floral fragrance it's powdery floral but it has some coconut to it as well it's not a very beachy kind of coconut but it's more of a creamy powdery coconut smell so this will be my choice if i'm in the mood for something very ultra feminine but also soft speaking of soft i have narciso ombre it's not a soft fragrance at all but you know the look of it you know it looks soft and pastel and fluffy so this one is a musk fragrance one also has prominent notes of ylang ylang and plumeria very tropical florals just like with limper trees and eden 01 this was also one of my top three choices to bring with me I want to experience how musk forward fragrances like Narciso would work on my body chemistry back home in the Philippines because I know fragrances from this house and fragrances like this one, they're very, very um, famous or popular back home. And I cannot have a perfume wardrobe or a perfume, what to call this, yeah, perfume wardrobe without having a vanilla fragrance or something sweet and something gourmand. And I chose vanilla. I could have chosen other fragrances, for example, um, Chiroso 71, but I'm almost out of it. That's on the main reason why I, I will not be bringing it with me. I could also bring a whiff of a waffle cone. I think I'm going to bring that one too. Something for every day at home. If I want something sweet, I know I have some moods that sometimes I want something like a very sharp floral like twilly or a very fruity cloyingly sweet scent like eden 01 but there are days where i just want something fluffy and soft and sweet and that would be vanilla so 
this one I had to bring. So since I mentioned a whiff of a waffle cone, I guess this will be my 10th full bottle. So I know I'm pretty confident that this one is going to be way too strong and way too sweet for the humid, thick, you know sweaty kind of atmosphere we have back home but you know i'm just curious to try it you know i'm almost out of it you guys i'm more than halfway in my bottle so i'm gonna bring this one with me so this will be my 10th bottle so let's see how this one will work will i put this somewhere here and here I have a newer addition to my collection. This is the Vinon font. I have been mentioning or featuring this in a lot of my videos because I really enjoy this one. This is a powdery fragrance. It has tobacco. It has, I think this one has coffee too. It has tobacco and some leather, as I think. But this one is like a very clean powdery scent. You know, like works great if you wear like a white shirt. But honestly, when it comes to clothes, I just have all black clothes. So that's Divine and Font. If Narciso um, Ombre is too floral for me, if it's too musk heavy, and I want that musky powdery feel without the strength of musk in Narciso Ombre, then I have this option, Divine and Font. And then I have this one here at the back. This was my number one choice. This I immediately put in my um, carry-on. 2787 Perfumes, Hamaka. This has a similar-ish scent profile to um, Utopia in terms of the coconut in it. So it's not really a very strong, creamy coconut or a Santani beachy coconut. But this one has coconut, it has vanilla, sandalwood, and I think this one also has like the sand accord. So this was my first choice. I knew I would definitely have to bring this one with me. This will be for sure my flight scent because I don't want to wear something super strong in a very, you know, long plane ride. So it's 18 to 20 hours. 20 hours with domestic flight so i don't want to wear something super strong so this will be in my carry-on and the last full bottle that i have here is something citrusy it's wake up world by parlement de this one has that citrusy fresh summery ambery feel if i'm not mistaken i think this one has some broxen or something similar to that i really wanted to bring donna edp by Trisardi. Do I, do I need to bring it should i bring it i think i'm gonna bring it so i'm adding more and more fragrances i'm gonna add Trisardi donna i'm gonna have to get it I don't know why I forgot about this one. I have to bring this. I have to try this back home. I guess because I was just focusing on, you know, smaller bottles, easy to pack. Um, this one is like the biggest bottle that I have in this um, lineup. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to bring all 11 bottles i think i have 11 right now that's way too much i think we're gonna have to you know, cut down but yeah Trisardi donna is i think also another runner up or one of the fragrances that i think i'll be bringing with me i don't have like a straight up citrus so i think it's between Trisardi donna or wake up world they are not similar fragrances but they have they give me the same feel in terms of like something citrusy but this is more i think it has some broxen i think this one has some broxen so for my citrusy fragrance choice, I have Trisardi Donna. Okay, I have another fragrance that I want to add to my collection. When I was getting Donna in my cabinet, I have to bring Kenzo World with me. I mentioned Ambroxan in Parlemois, and I remembered, oh my god, I have this beautiful Ambroxan Amber Forward Berry Fragrance Kenzo World. I have to bring it too. I know this is something that my mom would love too. So I now have these are my plugs by the way i now have 11 fragrances i think that's way too much just with this one this is gonna take up so much space and in terms of the perfume oils i have two from um oil perfumery these will be in my uh carry-on so i have baltia freak so it's another citrusy fresh floral musky kind of scent so I don't really know how the original scent smells like, so I only have this, and I really enjoy it. And I'm going to have to try this one, too. I really enjoy this one when I wore it during winter time here, so I'm going to have to see how this scent profile is. There's something in the middle here that I don't like. I don't know what it is, but um, yeah, I'm going to have to try this one. So these two perfume oils will be in my carry-on, and together with Hamaka... So these three, how can I forget, cut that outro, I'm not done yet. 
these are the samples that I'll be bringing with me, samples and um, decans. So I have um, discovery sets right here from Veronica. Most of these samples are from Veronica and some of them, you know, were given to me by my friend on Instagram. I have crayon, I'll be talking about them, some niche houses as well. And I also have some Theodoros Calotinus fragrances right here. So these will be the discovery sets and samples and decans that I'll be bringing with me together with these full bottles. This one is mainly for for, you know discovery purposes and trying with my family members and for um, videos as well and content so these are the ones that I'll be bringing with me so 12 full bottles and two perfume oils um, I'm gonna post it maybe on Instagram to let you guys know which ones I'm gonna bring uh, yeah that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching today's content as i always say in every single video have fun much love stay safe and see you in the next one